Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, April 3rd. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We have a very notable new moon, Monday, April 8th. It'll be a total solar eclipse, much anticipated, uh, going from Mexico up into the uh, New England states. Um, I'm actually planning to get out there. Uh, Central Texas is about 50-50 chance of clouds, so I'll take those odds. But uh, that will be visible here, and we'll talk about that now. So here's the path going from Central Mexico up across Texas, Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, up through the Great Lakes, upstate New York, Maine, and up into Canada. Uh, the path of totality is here. you got to be under that line to see the uh, sun totally covered for about four minutes on the center line, a little bit more than four. Out here in Denver, Longmont, Loveland area, it's about 70%, right between these two. Um, so it's, there's no point in uh, the eclipse in Colorado that you can safely look at the sun. You've got to have uh, properly um, manufactured glasses or use an indirect method like a pinhole uh, in a card stock or something like that and look at the shadow, look at the image down on the ground. Uh, the sun does have some sunspots off on the edge. It would, would have been nice to have uh, some su sunspots across the face of the sun since people will be using proper eye protection and seeing this. But um, anyways, a little more on the forecast at the end. So drought conditions get a little better in the southern mountains. Uh, just a small change. Nationwide, you see drought relief kind of a, in this big band from the Great Lakes to the southwest. Overall, the nation's doing pretty well when it comes to water supply. Very small areas of, of serious drought. Our fires in the uh, central plains, I think some of that might be uh, planned or necessary for agriculture. The smoke kind of smears out after that. Looking at our snowpack, we're seeing it stay below median up until just recently, and we're really kind of aiming for this median uh, peak of water content. So that's snow water equivalent, pretty nice. 109% statewide. Mountains are definitely carrying uh, a lot of that because the snow has already gone on the plains from the last one. We are pretty warm. Pretty significant amount of water in the northern mountains. Now looking for severe weather into the first week of April. It rapidly grows in the uh, south and starts expanding uh, the climatology, the Good chances of severe weather uh, approaching uh, Colorado in the next month. <coughs> Looking at the actual chances, Friday's quiet. Oh, sorry, that's not Friday. That should have been updated. Sorry. Um, is that right? That's no, Thursday. This is Friday. There's Saturday. Some severe weather out in the plains. All right. This is valid for Thursday. It's all one day off. But really warm, dry conditions. Friday, we have fire danger uh, fr with pretty strong winds. We have winds up to 100 miles an hour in the foothills. And that continues on Saturday, even though they have snow uh, down here. 59 to 61 is our normal high. 31 to 33, we're now above freezing for our expected low temperatures. So it's getting harder and harder. But again, don't turn on the sprinkler systems until after Mother's Day is the rule of thumb along I-25. We have a little chance of precipitation Saturday morning and then some better chances next week but and a bit of a cool down too you can see Saturday is our rain chances it's a pretty impressive looking trough but there's just not a lot happening a lot of disagreement over the rain snow mix I think it's gonna be mostly rain and not much of it less than a tenth of an inch along I-25 and around Longmont area this has more snow mixed in so I don't know Let's take a look at the next 14 days in animation. So this big ridge is what's giving us the mid-70s. And that trough and cutoff swings through. See how it almost parks, but it, it's hitting other people, not us. There's that next little bowling ball coming down here about Tuesday, Wednesday, giving us another chance of precipitation at that time. And the ridge definitely comes back into the west. So look for some really warm temperatures again next week. Taking a look at those temperatures, we are under the ridge, really warm, cold air out west and out east, kind of pinched in between. The front comes through on Saturday, 
yeah, it's it's cool, but only briefly so. Kind of pulses in, then gets back towards normal by Tuesday. Another cold um, pool down south, but warm temperatures definitely dominate after that. Looking at water vapor, I'm going to look at this for Texas for the eclipse as much as there's our moisture for the weekend, Saturday or Sunday. You can see the moisture gets swept out to the southeast. And then this is eclipse time and the moisture is just starting to surge back in. So it's all about timing. Will the surge happen quickly or not? Uh, dew points, I'm just going to take it through this Saturday storm. So there it is, dew points pretty high, 40s. Wrap around that low and linger for a little bit into Monday. So yeah, it'll smell moist and spring-like out there. Okay, let's look at actual precipitation. Going into Friday, into Saturday, here comes snow on the western slopes and pretty heavy rain and stuff. Wrap around snow and rain on Sunday. I, again, I think it's overdone, but we'll see what actually happens. Little central showers <coughs> on Tuesday. The system is pretty far south of us. Okay, so the next five days, minimal precipitation, maybe up to a quarter inch. Uh, boulder, maybe a half inch of stuff. Snow, maybe a, a coating mixed in with the uh, s snow and rain, maybe an inch or two in Boulder, more up in the foothills. It's just pretty warm. Over the next 10 days, a little bit more. There's a half inch moisture, but not any significant snow. So we have 70s even uh, upper 70s by Friday. A pretty good cool down for the weekend and cool into the next week with a chance of Saturday and Monday precipitation. So taking a look at weather for the uh, eclipse, Again, it's going through this area here. Um, no actual precipitation at the time of the eclipse, noon time, 1 o'clock on Monday. Uh, here's a future satellite, and it shows, well, there's a pretty sharp line here of high clouds and, and trouble uh, versus clear. But even with high clouds, you should be able to see most of what's going on with the sun. It definitely can shine through clouds. Uh, we have 80-70% cloud cover, 60 at Waco, 50% up in Dallas, and another model here looks very similar. Here's the eclipse path with another model having 70% cloud cover down here, that surge, 50s and then 20s around Dallas. So a really sharp line here. We're going to be in north central Texas here, right about there, so we should be okay. So check out Longmont Leader for frequent weather updates, and local news. This has been Chief Meralgist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.